you want to play as safely as possible in this sport. Uh, I think Denzel does that along with all of our guys. You know, there, there's been such a big push to to make this game safer, and I think we are uh, as a league making it safer every single year. So that'll always be a, a something that we talk about internally uh, with our players, really all the time. Uh, but it, as it relates to this, it's it's just he's in the concussion protocol, and we'll just uh, progress him as, as the protocol sees fit. Next, we'll go to Daryl. Hey, Coach. Um, I, I know you didn't uh, want to get too much into specifics as far as uh, Marquise goes, but just do you have at least uh, an estimation of how much time now that he's going to be off NFI it's going to take him to get ready so that he can participate this season? It's it's so hard to say, Daryl. Uh, I would tell you he's worked very, very hard off to the side, uh, both with our strength staff, all, all the running that he's done. So he's remaining in great shape. Now, obviously, there's there's playing football shape as well. So we'll integrate him uh, as, as we can and, and as he allows and w- with uh, keeping the medical side uh, fully uh, involved in, in those type of decisions. But where that goes uh, from here, I'm not sure. But I think it's a good positive first step uh, to take him off that list. Next, we'll go to Cam. Hey, Kevin, just wondering, the guy's bringing in a new running back. What are you kind of maybe hopeful of to see out of him when he comes in with some of the other guys you've been able to bring in and get a look at for maybe the, that maybe that RB3 position? Yeah, you know, that was an opportunity that, that came our way and, and feel good about adding Pierre, uh, somebody that we've done a bunch of work on. Uh, we'll we'll see how quickly we can get him up to speed. It's it's This is what happens. As you know, around this time and, and really throughout the season, you start to add players and, and it's our job to ramp them up as quickly as possible so they can understand, you know, our language, how we operate so they can help us uh, potentially uh, down the line. Next, we'll go to Scott. Hey, Kevin, I got two injury questions for you. First, the linebackers, um, Anthony and Sione, obviously they didn't play, but are you expecting them to be ready to play week one? I am. Okay. And then with Denzel, what went into the decision to play him? I know he hadn't played the previous two preseasons, um, so why yesterday? Yeah, just really we make a decision based on every individual player, Scott, and what we think is best for them to get them ready to play uh, You know, a 17-game season. So felt like that was best uh, in this case. Next, we'll go to Jeff. Hey, Kevin, I have two questions. One, uh, when you reviewed that block kick, Uh, What did you see? Yeah, you know, obviously didn't hit it like we want to. um, And that's something like we talked about yesterday. Uh, I I know we want to be able to to finish there as a team. uh, So it was disappointing, but it doesn't change kind of our mentality that each one of our players is going to continue to to work at this thing and and get better. Then um, I know you keep saying that you don't need to bring in another kicker, but don't you think that maybe you owe it to the other players on the team to have a competitor with for Cade? Yeah, I think all roster decisions and those type of things uh, are, are are things that we talk about internally, uh, Jeff, really at every position. Um, so that's where I'd leave it. All right, next we'll go back to Mary Kay. Uh, yeah, Kevin, I was going to also ask um, about Cade York and uh, – you know, just what you, you know, what do you think is actually possibly going on with him? Because we watch him perform so well in practice. Again, the last day of practice before the game, he was six for six in in practice. And, you know, have you guys been able to identify what it is? And is that thing what makes you guys so confident he's going to be able to work through it? Yeah, I think a couple of things, Mary Kay. I think Kate is very, very talented. Uh, and you, you're right. We, we've seen it in practice. Definitely, I've seen it at times in games. Uh, he, he wants to come through for the team. I know he, he's disappointed uh, in in that preseason, but young player going to continue to work. That's that's really what it is. We'll go back to Daryl. Yeah, um, Kevin, have you guys begun the I, – I know it's going to be a difficult time between now and 4 p.m. Tuesday. Have you and Andrew begun the process 
of trimming down the roster and just what do you expect the uh, the timeline to be for those decisions to come down? Yeah, we have uh, started that, Daryl. I think we'll put out uh, a release shortly. Um, you know, it's it's as you guys know, we talk about it every year. It, it's not a fun part of of our gig uh, to do this. You know, you'd love to keep everybody. The roster uh, has to be cut down. Um, so ultimately, you're making tough decisions. You're you're letting go of, of good football players. You're letting go of some young players that, that I think there's there's a lot of uh, you know a bright future ahead for a bunch of guys. I'm excited for a bunch of guys. Um, but it is also just the nature of the beast. All right, we'll go back to Cam. I'm just wondering if any of the results of, of yesterday's game, the injuries that you guys suffered, would that impact what you guys do uh, before Tuesday's deadline, or does that not really weigh? Do you already have things decided before? No, yeah, I, I think for sure. Uh, every game is an exposure to our players. Uh, there, there's guys that – oftentimes play themselves onto or off a roster uh, on these games uh, yesterday included. I mean, it's, it's, these are all big parts of it. And then with the injuries, it, it's uh, again, not a fun part of our business, but it is part of our business. So uh, you're always got to be ready to have that backup ready or have your eyes on, on a potential replacement uh, if you are forced to do the injury. Go to Tom. Thanks, Jordan. Hey, Kevin, did you get a chance to talk to Jakeem? How's he doing? Yeah, I have. Uh, yeah, I, I'd let you guys, you know, I, I don't want to speak for him. As you can imagine, just disappointed. Um, it, rehabbing through injuries is is no fun, uh, and, and it's a lot of hard work, and it's a lot of time spent um, in the training room, in the weight room. Uh, there's not a lot of glory in that. And then to to come back and, and, and get injured the way he did, it's just, it's, you know, he, he's, he's disappointed. Um, but again, um, I'll reiterate because uh, I see it and his teammates see it. Uh, the the kid is unbelievably strong. I mean, incredibly mentally strong. Um, so we know he'll bounce back. He's going to have our full support uh, to do so. All right, we'll go back to Scott. Hey, Kevin, did Kate have any lingering effects, or does he still have any lingering effects from when he got up limping? No. Yeah, no lingering effects. Okay. And do you expect him to be the kicker week one? Yeah, I think all those type of things, Scott, as as you know, we always keep those internal as, as we uh, get through this week. Um, but uh, I'll reiterate, I think Kate is very, very talented. Thanks. All right, we'll go back to Mary Kay. Uh, yeah, just wondering, uh, you know, he got a, a little bit testy after the game. It, does that say anything? Does that speak to his mindset? at all or is this that just a a normal uh you know reaction to someone who's who's getting asked questions about missing kick yeah i, I think you know certainly normal uh, to be frustrated uh by your performance when you don't come through like he wants to uh, you know he works very very hard like we mentioned uh wants to come through so of course he's gonna be frustrated uh, you know uh I've been in that situation when you got to answer some questions uh, when you're frustrated, but so we got to be pros in that situation, but uh, these, these are, these are human beings. So we, we do sometimes let uh, frustrations get the better of us. 